In this problem, we're told a small ball rolls horizontally off the edge of a tabletop that is 1.2 meters high. It strikes the floor at a point 1.52 meters horizontally from the table edge. So A says to find how long is the ball in the air, and B says what is its speed at the instant it leaves the table. So I'm going to draw a diagram of what's going on here. So we have this table here, right? So it's going to be 1.2 meters high. So this ball Right, it's going to roll off and it's going to travel something like this and we know it's going to strike the floor at a point 1.52 meters horizontally from this edge so essentially this distance right here is going to be 1.52 meters so this is just a diagram of what's going on let's go ahead and write down our given next so since this is two-dimensional right we have the uh, x and y directions so we want to write down the given in the x and y direction so in the x direction we know the change in x so the change in our x position is going to be 1.52 meters, right? Because x wordly, we're changing 1.52 meters. So delta x equals 1.52 meters. And then what about in y? Well, notice how we start at 1.2 and we end at 0. So essentially, we're changing negative 1.2 meters, right? And you can calculate that just by your final y minus your initial y. So just 0 minus 1.2 is just minus 1.2. So next, we're going to write down the acceleration. So the acceleration in the x direction, unless specified differently, you generally always assume it's 0 meters per second squared. And then in the y direction, you assume it's the force of gravity. And so gravity is just going to be minus 9.8 meters per second squared. And then what we're trying to do is uh, we're trying to find the instant or the speed of the ball the instant it leaves the table. So we need v, uh, v sub 0 of x, right? So in the x direction and then in the y direction. But since we know it's ro uh, rolling hor horizontally, we know that uh, in the y direction, it's just going to be 0 meters per second, right? Because it's rolling uh, just straight like this. So there's no y component. So we just assume it's 0 like that. And then v sub 0 x, we don't know. That's going to be what we're trying to find for b. And then how long is the ball in the air, right? So that's going to be time. So we have to solve for time for both of these. Well, they're both the same. So we just solve it for 1, essentially. So this right here is going to be our given. Let's go ahead and start with a. So A says, how long is the ball in the air? So what we're going to have to do is solve for T with our given variables, and we can choose either side. Or Well, we can't choose either side, but uh, if you notice here at Y, we're given more variables. So generally, that's just uh, if you're given more variables for 1, or you have the variables required to solve the kinematic equation, you choose that side. So we're going to use the variables in the Y direction to solve. So the formula you want to use is delta Y equals V sub 0 uh, Y times T plus 1 half a t squared. So we're going to use this formula to solve. And we basically know all these, or we know some of them. So we know delta y is going to be minus 1.2. v sub 0 y is just 0, right? Because we're rolling horizontally. Times t, which we don't know, plus 1 half times minus 9.8 times t squared. So if we go ahead and uh, solve this, we're going to get... Uh, Minus 1.2 equals, right, 0 times t is just 0, times 1 half times minus 9.8 times uh, t squared. And so if you go ahead and do this, uh, t squared, or 1 half times minus 9.8 is minus 4.9. So minus 4.9 times t squared. If we want to solve for t squared, just divide both sides by minus 4.9. So divide both sides by minus 4.9. T squared is going to be equal to uh, minus 1.2 divided by minus 4.9. And so we just square root that, right? So the square root of this right here. And so you're going to get that T equals 0.4948. And I'm going to round to this place right here. So 0.495. And keep in mind, this is going to be in seconds, right? Because we're using meters per second. So seconds is our time unit. So... 0.495 seconds so that's going to be our time uh, in the answer to a so 0.495 seconds that's going to be how long the ball is in the air right and then what we need to solve for for b is the speed uh, at the instant it leaves the table and so keep in mind it's going horizontally right so we just need to focus on the x there's no y so as long as we solve for the x and we just plug in t uh, we'll be able to solve for it so if we do b right here 
uh, we're going to use the same exact formula basically except for we're going to plug in our time right because if we know the time is 0. Uh, 0.495 seconds what we can do is just solve for v sub x right because we have every other variable in this equation so let's just go ahead and solve it so delta y is going to be delta x right it doesn't matter so 1.52 equals v sub 0 of x which is what we're solving for times t which is 0.495 plus 1 half times a and so keep in mind a is just going to be 0 so 0 times 0.495 squared this whole side is going to become 0 right because 0 times anything is 0 so essentially what it's going to be is just uh, 1.52 times v sub 0 of x uh, times 0.495 so what we're going to do is just divide both sides by this to get v sub 0 x by itself. So essentially it's going to be 1.52 divided by 0.495. And if you go ahead and do that, v sub 0 of x, you're going to get that it equals 3.07. And keep in mind what, what it's measured in. It's in meters per second, right? Because we're using meters in seconds. And velocity, that's how the unit's for it. So this is going to be your answer to b. So... 3.07 meters per second. And yeah, hopefully you found this video useful.